Hello Pisces, welcome to your August 2023 reading. Let's see what's happening for your month of August. What is the current energy for Pisces? For the highest good of all. Thank you, Spirit. What is the message for Pisces? Strength. So Pisces, you are finding the courage and stepping into your power in the month of August. You're completing an old cycle that is coming to an end where you have been working so hard. You have all of the responsibilities in the world that you've had to carry. You've had all these old fears. You've had all these tests. You've had rules to follow and you've been very disciplined about taking your power back and you're working on a new self. You've been mastering the skill, the art of flow, flowing with life not pushing up against it and the people in your life. Interesting that we have the Four of Cups and the Five of Cups coming out together. So there's a progression where you've, you've gone through a period of feeling like you've missed an opportunity and you had these regrets and you were grieving this. You're very disappointed about something. Oh my goodness, we got a story and let's find out what you were disappointed about. Okay, this is fascinating to me. So you're not happy because the secrets came out that you were giving money and your time and energy to another situation and it's haunted you. There was a queen of cups involved, third party, ooh, and a not a very happy wife <laughs> or partner found out and really put a spin on your relationship and they were out for battle and they knew about your options and that was it put an end to that situation because it was either that or end the situation. There's, you felt like there was no way out of what came about. Ooh, what, what a reading, Pisces. What a reading. Okay. So there may have been a third party you found out with a Leo. We have your energy here. You weren't very happy about the situation. Finding out somebody, you, you, there were no choice that you had. You had few options in the situation because you had to play it somebody else's way. All right, I'm being asked to get a different deck to get different energy on this. Ooh, spinning out of control. <laughs> we have the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is that there's good news here. You might have a financial opportunity. You may be also learning how to do things differently. Trying to repair. Yeah, how figuring out how to temper your passions. You're learning. You're being very careful right now to go with the energy, to be patient, to be more understanding of the pain that your pain caused. Hurt people hurt people.
We have the Knight of Pentacles falling sideways. So it has been a long road. There's, it's not quite stable yet. So you're continuing, it's, things are, it's going to be a slow go, you know. But you can do this, you know it's a long term, or do you continue with the long term? So then maybe that's what the message is here is that, do you keep putting into the long term investment of this or do you move on in the situation after all this? <laughs> your victory, your success is being blocked. And when I think of the King of Swords, it's that there's legal, a lawyer involved in the situation that I feel for some of you, that if you give your love to other people and you choose to continue charming, or the person that you're thinking of is gonna continue this, their victory will be in court. There will be money to pay out. But something, you're, you're close, but do you want to do this? Interesting here. Hmm. Ooh. Five of Cups again coming out. So that's, you are disappointed. You're disappointed that you're being blocked. Something is blocked for you here. You wanted to grow something. You were really in love with this person that you had, <laughs> that got found out about from somebody. Pretty mad partner. So you're trying to think of how to, how to have success, but you're being, it's being blocked. All right, I would like to get some more guidance. Ooh. We have how light. You're on a spiritual beginning right now. You're going through, and you may be picking up on that and having visions in your sleep of what's to come. Ooh, let's take this one. We have a secret for you. The more you think you know, the less you actually do. So if you are willing to keep an open mind, you will avoid the narrow confines of the know-it-all and open up to the unlimited potential that can be discovered only by the curious optimist. Curiosity allows you to discover new things, to see the world from a different perspective and find answers to questions you might not even know you have. Right now, whatever is going on, it's important to know that you are not aware of all of the aspects of it. You need to see to make an informed choice. Yeah, there's something blocking it. You might be projecting a story that isn't totally true. So moving forward, your mantra could be, I don't know, or that's interesting as you keep your mind and heart open to new experiences and a richer existence overall. All of us here want you to be all you can be. Okay, so you are learning. You're, you're going through a spiritual beginning and until you see, until you see with curious eyes it's going to be there's a lot that you're it's you're having a hard time getting past here be impeccable with your word let go of self-judgment 
and blame. Being impeccable, you take responsibility for your actions, but you do not judge or blame yourself for anything. So you're in regret, so you're blaming yourself. It's what's done is done. My home is a peaceful haven. I bless my home with love. I put love in every corner and my love, my home lovingly responds with warmth and comfort. I am at peace. I am willing to change. When one door opens, another door, when one door closes, another door opens. It's only change. I am safe and secure and loved. So you might be curious about going through a new beginning and learning again, but the thought of change is daunting. Allow everyone to win. Serenity, focusing on quiet stillness and calm within myself enables me to graciously accept what is and flying out. Treat yourself with gentleness. Responsibility. When I realize the strength of my words and actions, I am empowered to accept or change the roles I play. Laughter. When I laugh at life, life laughs with me, and we both have a good time. Intention. Through conscious awareness, I focus my thoughts to fulfill my aspirations. And there's one more little message here. Allow yourself to be more genuine. Pisces, that is what I have for you for the month of August. It was an interesting reading. I'm not sure how that's going to resonate, but until we meet again on the journey, have a good month of August. Bye.